I am Anil Kumar and here are a few questions for you to test understanding of addition and subtraction of integers. These questions will help you to prepare for the test. Question here is explain if the following statements are true or false. First one is when you subtract an integer from 0 you get the same integer. Question number two, sum of opposite integers is always zero. Question number three, subtracting negative integer from a positive integer is always positive. Question number four is, number line can be used to subtract large integers. I'd like you to pause the video, copy these questions, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Let's start answering them one by one. Here is how I will answer the first one. When you subtract an integer from 0, you get the same integer. Let's take an example. So we have to subtract some integer from 0. Integers could be positive or negative. So let's do this operation of subtraction. 0 minus let us say take a positive integer, let's say 5, what do we get? Now 0 minus plus 5 will give us negative 5, right? How about 0 minus minus 2? Now 0 minus minus 2 should give us plus 2. So do we get the same integer? No, we get the opposite integer. Do you see that? So what we get is a positive integer. Therefore, this statement is not true. It is false. The reason is that we get a positive integer. Now what you can also do is, you can use one of the methods learned to do this subtraction. 0 take away minus 2. So 0 could be written as combination of zeros right which is plus and minus so we can write plus and minus that is one set and then plus and minus another set and from this set we have to take away two right two negatives two negatives now if you take away two negatives from this zero that is zero correct and that is minus two and we have to do take away so if you take away one negative cancels, the other one cancels, you are left with two positive. That is how you get two positive. Correct? Next, let's answer the next one. Sum of opposite integers is always zero. That is to say, if I add minus five to plus five, what do I get? Well, I do get zero. The opposite integers are on a number line, right on the opposite sides, right? So they are same distance away. So let us say this is minus 5 for us. And here we have plus 5. They are same distance away from 0, right? If you add them, you do get 0. So that statement is true. The next one is subtracting negative integer from a positive integer is always positive. Hmm. Let's try to figure out subtracting negative integer from a positive integer that is to say we have a positive integer let us say positive 1 and from this subtracting negative integer let's say negative integer is negative 1 then what do we get well negative taking away negative 1 is kind of like this that means we have let's do counters so we have one counter which is positive 1 right and from here we have to take away negative one we do not have two negatives so we can add a zero integer here right so zero integer is combination of plus and minus correct now if i take away negative i'm left with two positives correct so i get two positive so yes indeed we are left with positive integers reason is negative and negative becomes positive so this statement is true for us. 
Last one is number line can be used to subtract large numbers. Well, number line can be used to subtract any number and the reason is it extends to very large numbers that is infinitely large, right? You see zero right there and in both the directions a number line extends to infinity. Infinity is a very very large number which can never be reached also, right? So number line can be used to subtract large numbers and that is true. So this is how we can answer these questions and understand their meaning. I hope it helps. Thank you.